a $180 katana versus a $400 katana. What's the difference? Well, to sum it up in one word, tightness. Cheaper katana doesn't really stay in the scabbard. More expensive does. Cheaper katana has some pretty significant gaps in the fittings. The more expensive still has some gaps, but they are less prominent. These bindings are also pretty frayed, where these ones are pretty tight. It's difficult to put my finger on it, but the sire scabbard on the cheaper one seems a bit less feel goody, and this one seems sturdier. And in addition to that, this only came in T10 tool steel, and this I could choose from numerous different types of steels. Now if you just want to cut stuff, this is fine, and I've missed cuts and hit wooden logs and steel things with the blade and it hasn't chipped, so it's okay. But overall, paying more gets you something better. 